Yeah, there certainly is a lot going on amongst Cal Fire crews and effective today residential burning permits for Nevada, Placer and Yuba counties are suspended. Cal Fire says that with the hot temperatures forecasted this week, fire season is officially here. Cal Fire knows with high temperatures comes a higher risk for fire. Now we're into drier, hotter days, so those light fuels that don't take long to dry out the grass, they're drying out and they are burning right now. Ahead of a hot holiday weekend. We painted the tank this year. We did, yeah. Cal Fire Unit Chief Brian Rewired. Estes checked equipment, yes. including this helicopter equipped to drop water. He says Cal Fire is officially in fire season. The full scope of ground heavy equipment and aviation resources across our department are, are fully deployed and, and ready to respond. As of today? As of today, yep. Temperature, humidity, and wind can influence fuels but heat dries those fuels like grass, brush, and timber out, meaning fire crews must be ready. There's just this heightened level of preparedness and training and expectations and professionalism. Cal Fire is a great partner to us. In the city, the Auburn Fire Department is preparing the community and watching the weather too. Certainly with the heat predicted, uh, we're certainly uh, letting the community know on our different social platforms that it's really important to be aware. Uh, this is not the time to do your fuel reduction work or weed eating. With resources ready and heat on the way, Estes says his team at Cal Fire is ready to protect the region. I just could not be more proud to lead 410 men and women under my command. Just an amazing, well-trained and very professional force of, of emergency responders. So we are ready to serve. And Cal Fire says that the community can help too by making sure you're staying extra aware of your surroundings and being signed up for those alert systems should there be a major fire or an emergency in Auburn. Leon Denier, KCRA 3 News.